hello guys. Matt here and today I'd like to show you a little map concept you can use. Uh, it's currently in uh, 14W08A and it should be compatible with uh, 1.8 Minecraft if uh, it, when it is uh, released. And I, in fact, I released it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you can just download it and play it if you would like for yourself, or you can just wa watch this video and if you like. Anyway, so let's get started, shall we? Uh, so, hello and welcome to my short showcase map. This map uses some terrible commands, so remember that you can click or hover over the chat contents. Enjoy! New objective. So, as you can read, you can hover over the chat contents to see something like this. Yep, just like this. And now you get a new objective. Oh, sorry. Um, F3 and H, you cannot tell. Um, so now you get new objective, find the same. Uh, this thing actually was possible before, uh, before the um, 1.8 snapshot, but yeah, anyway. So we need to find the same where it can be. Oh, here we go. So. What's now? Objective complete, find the safe. Now we need to go to the basement. So, well, this looks like an uh, entrance to the basement, doesn't it? So now we are in the basement, so we have this objective complete. And now we need to open the safe. So, hmm, well, we can place it just anywhere, but it can be placed on block of quartz, which is this one. So let's just open. Hmm, the safe is locked. So we need something to open with. It will. Uh, oh, what's that? Yep, that's the code we need to enter. But how do we enter it? It's with a code input device, of course, that we need to put on the safe. So we shift and right click on the chest and we get the input device uh, ready on the chat. So we need to input 3874. So 3874. And we open the chest. The safe. Now we can break this and we get back the code input device and open the chest with the jewel. That's the name I just come up with. Um, anyway, so let's now jump to, over to creative and let me show you how, show you how it works. Let me explain how it all works. So, this is the place when we first started off, and we press this button, which. Um, so, first of all, it triggered this contraption. I'm not. I don't remember how it's called. Anyway, uh, this uh, basically means um, it makes this button uh, be a uh, act as lever. Like this, it won't uh, change uh, back to off until we press this button, which we can press right now. Anyway, and this uh, also uh, opens this door, as you can see. And here are the first uh, command blocks that are used for it. So. Here's some terror commands. It basically tells no, nothing fancy. So this uh, this uh, is the one that you can cover. Uh, I won't explain much about it. You can look it up in the internet if you want to learn about how to use terror. But basically, uh, there's a text 
and here there is um, an action of hovering over uh, the text. So it's pretty simple. Uh, here's some more, and uh, here's the um, the first objective, which is uh, it's over here. The objective: find the safe. It's actually an item. It's a chest, if I remember correctly. Um, wait, show item, uh, ID 54, uh, yeah, I think it's a uh, chest, anyway. So here's the uh, custom name for it, uh, and the lore, which displays as a, this. And here's the line you can see here. Uh, then you are given a, a command, a code input device, which is a, a normal item frame uh, with some custom name and etc. And the most important thing is that you can place it on a um, chest. Um, and that is so important because in one point point eight snapshots you will not be able to uh, place any blocks or entities or because it is actually an entity uh, on any block unless uh, you are um, allowed by this NBT DAG so that's why it's so important and basically that's it about it here are the ones that are not wired to anything but the buttons and this one just sets uh, your something uh, to zero scoreboard um, which basically triggers all of this so you teleport here and get rid of all the items it's not actually a big deal it's just to help me reset it when I want to test it and this one is a, uh, it's pretty light written. I will put it in uh, the video description so you can just copy it and analyze for yourself. And uh, once again, there's the uh, can place on uh, NPT tag and some name and uh, the items inside. And an important thing also is that it has a lock on it. And uh, this command uses the uh, one of the latest snapshots uh, possibility of having a chest with some NVT tags on it already, uh, and not only the um, uh, name and lore, but also the right now. When you look at it, uh, it has a NBT tags of name and can be placed on. And this was possible before, but the thing that was not possible before was making them have an item inside as well as um, a lock on it. So, anyway, um, here is the basic, uh, the first block. Only one is uh, running constantly, but as you can probably see, here there's another one. If you are a, or were a bit into wrestling, you should probably know it. It's a um, one of the passes, although I'm not sure. Uh, clocks, um, it doesn't produce much lag, which is very useful when making this kind of stuff. Although I prefer not to have too many of those because yeah, it does surely add some light to this. And so um this so let's begin with this. Uh, when you spawn on the map you will uh, this test for will test for uh, 
any player with score of something exactly to zero, so any player that uh, logs into the map and will uh, teleport him over here and uh, clear their inventory and set the uh, scoreboard to one so they just don't uh, keep teleporting over and over just single uh, one uh, yeah that's for this part and now uh, this is actually one of the so let's just leave it for a moment here when you pick up the safe from the um, furnace you trigger this and this is just another test for command you can just download the map and see it for yourself i won't explain it anymore uh, here's the next one um, and now it opens this new trapdoor and now uh, <coughs> this is a test for command testing for an, any player within a radius of, of 4 or so uh, from this place uh, with a little bit of delay and then there is this set of commands very similar to this three, one, two, three, but arranged in a different place it's basically the same and with the change of names uh, and this is uh, the remaining one that probably most complicated so uh, when you place the item frame or the code input device on the uh, chest let me jump over to this um, this gets triggered because it's a uh, it's a test for type item frame so it tests for any item frame uh, entity which is this one all over the map and uh, another thing is here uh, this basically uh, creates a s single pulse when you activate it so th when this is activated and another single pulse when it's deactivated and uh, that is because there are three the four uh, command blocks here that test uh, that use another uh, one of the snapshots feature which is, which is a execute command uh, which executes uh, in the place of an item frame uh, and test for a block with one uh, block offset within every direction so when the map uh, when the item frame is here it tests for this block or this block this this and this and if any of this is uh, activated uh, in this case it's this one because it stands for uh, minus one x which is in that direction because the chest is here. I don't know why it happened. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, so here are the, some more test for commands that use yet another thing added in snapshots, which are the triggers. Yes. Um, basically, there are there's the command you and once again you can just go over to the map download it and check it out for yourself I won't explain it all but uh, it triggers input which is another scoreboard two three uh, which stands for the number you press and there's the same for every number so here's one two three four three uh, four five seven eight nine uh, anyway, there are nine numbers. Uh, uh, so, when you uh, when it detects the uh, chest next to an item.
Python frame. This uh, uh, is powered and goes over to here, uh, where's an, uh, another clock, you've seen the same one there. Um, that tests for the numbers uh, that are set in here. So when we pick a number, for example one, you can see this one is triggered. And this basically uh, acts like a button uh, with, um, it's a bit shorter for sure, but you get the idea. Uh, and this resets after a two peaks, I believe, because one is here, um, then it changes uh, it back to zero and enables it. So you can trigger it once again. And then it waits for uh, the redstone to deactivate and activate it again. So there are maybe two or three ticks, I believe. And meanwhile, uh, the clock is also uh, testing for a an item frame in the player's inventory. And that is because, let me show it quickly, you can break this. You, as you can see, uh, I was taken away the uh, item frame and got back the code input device. And um, here's the one that, uh, this basically the same command that you can see over here. Uh, that just gives you uh, the item frame and then the signal goes over here to turn off this and therefore the clock so you cannot uh, long, uh, you can no longer trigger those triggering but it's not enabled um, so yeah that's basically it and the remaining part you can see here. I will not explain because it's not my design. It was actually uh, invented by, designed by a YouTuber. I can't recall his name, but I will put the link in the, in the description. So yeah, I think that's all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you uh, uh, We'll use it and see you next time. Bye.